I am for the child who's had seven addresses in a single year because she's in foster care, because her father abused her. And her mother, her mother couldn't believe her. She is the child I am for. I am a volunteer child advocate. I am you. Florida residents call toll free 866-341-1425. Hi, I'm Jose Miranda, and this is Hispanic Speak Out, brought to you each week on Bright House Channel 194, which is the new designation, okay? Uh, we also have two additional programs, of course, EDU TV, with Mr. Perkins here. Uh, and uh, we have Latino role models, which follows that. Uh, we talk politics, we talk education, we talk um, cultural issues, we talk basketball, sports, you know, we even talk about your mama. If we got down into it, you know, so. I, I, I don't do that. I would talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being joined tonight with my, my other co-host, uh, uh, Mr. Perkins, and uh, our, our scholar in the house, and his book is called? It's Your Choice America. And you would be called? Bill Garlington. I'll, I'll leave it at that. We'll call Mr. Garlington. So listen, um, guys, uh, this is our panel. Uh, Danny's missing tonight, and he'll join us um, shortly. So. Uh, a lot of things are happening uh, with this new transitional team that's been in. <laughs> that's okay. what you want to call it. <laughs> I, I, I think it's extremely chaotic. I think they're very, uh, the, the folks that are being involved in the process uh, are men, are going to push the very levels of, of, of the, the mental, mental things, you know, the prowess, the, 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 the legitimacy of what's going on. So, uh, you know, please help me out here. Uh, you know that he's put up some folks. He's, uh, he's put up some very controversial people in education, uh, health and hospital, uh, another uh, everything. Every, man. Uh, you know everything. He's done. So, uh, kick it off. Tell me, tell me, what, what do you think? Well, the president-elect Trump, um, just like when. Uh, Obama was first elected. No, you can't compare them. Well, no, but I can because no, no, no. The, the, the Why did you say President Elect Trump and then called Obama Obama? President Obama, okay. okay. Uh, the, the, the good thing about our country is when you get elected and transition, you can select your cabinet members. They some of them have to still be vetted through the Congress yeah. and get an up and down vote. Uh, some don't. Um, and so um, you're asking me a general question of his picks thus far. I, um, I'm hoping that Mitt Romney does not get Secretary of State. I hope it's somebody else other than Mitt Romney. But I, I, I don't have a problem with uh, Senator Sessions as his- You don't uh, have a problem with that? Not at all. He's a gentleman who called, he called one of his uh, district attorneys boy. Okay. Okay. But 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 if you also continue, so okay. No, it, it, it's also he he was uh, uh, an attorney in Alabama that uh, took down the KKK, uh, and he also uh, got the person uh, um, uh, on death row, and he was executed on death row. So he he, he got the they person. Executed? They did. Oh wow. And they and, and he was instrumental. So the left is always. Trying to, it's 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 funny when no 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 when, let's, let's be facts no but it, but it, but it is funny when yeah. when one side doesn't get their way because we had to go through the wilderness or I had to for eight years through the selections of uh, President Obama. Please, we had some tremendous people in there. Well, yeah. we can we can, that's another segment. Well, that's well, another well, segment. Like, what's that Breitbart guy's name who runs that alt right website? Well, uh, talk, talking about. Steve, 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 Steve Bannon. Okay. Okay. But but then again, we, we, wait, wait a minute. But we're, but then again, uh -huh. the alt left, which is the your, alt left. Now okay. he's making up a term. So so well, well you made what, up. That's what they call it. Look, you're, you're the alt left, and, and we're the alt right. So <laughs> no, there's no alt left. See, and there's no, no alt right. No, 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 and there's there, no alt right. No, he said he created that. Right. Those are words out of his mouth, Bill. Well, and it, Bill Jose, Bill, let, let, Jose, let me tell you what I've observed. Right, Donald Trump has made it okay that anyone. Anyone can run for presidency. Mm -hmm. He's talking about hiring Petraeus. Okay, I think he's a smart guy, great guy. But wasn't this guy convicted yeah, a little, little for different. sharing national secrets with his girlfriend? With his girlfriend? Right. That used to be a disqualifier. While he was married. Why do, 
Now it's so, like any and everybody can just come in there. And so the counterpoint would be we had or the, the, the left had a de Democratic president that had been accused and stopped because of the Obama machine and the attorney general or this woman who lost Hillary Clinton had had so many illegal things she done. Was, to she her. was never charged. Be because I mean, convicted. because okay. Obama, he, he decided that it he doesn't wanted matter. To, OK, here's a fact. And that's all they do now. Is they do with yeah. all. No, but they he, he, he put a squash on it. Yeah. Absolutely no, did. No, he did. No. He Bill, told you the, cannot He told that. the attorney general to stand no, down. No, no proof. proof. Well, no, we, zero. We, well, okay. zero. The facts are the is that the WikiLeaks. Uh, you, know, you can't make up your own facts, Bill. No, they're there. No, well, she facts. lost. That's so next question. So we had a great, <laughs> we, we have a great team coming in, Trump. A great team. Absolutely. You got a president who's tweeting like he's in high school. Doesn't matter. He, he, he tweeted this morning. Relax. Right. You got four years before you get you a candidate. I, and, I honestly don't think he's going to go for you. Okay. I think he'll be in peace within the next uh, okay. 24 Well, we, we said that about Obama, but he, he, he decided that Obama he... Obama has been... Bill, there's, that's right. Okay. He's kept his has nose clean, no scandal, his no anything. His cabinet that he brought right. in has been exceptional. That's oh, my right. goodness. That's right. Okay. Oh, my he goodness. He doesn't have guys who have all right backgrounds. Mm -hmm. He brought in guys that were legitimate uh, people for and experienced people for what they were going to come in to do. Not what's going on now. You have generals who are in bed with Turkey or yeah, in bed yeah, that's right. With the, the he was in Russia. Russia. Who was the one guy that was at dinner with Putin? Yes, he's well, the same guy. As, 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 uh, I, I'm just going to sit here and say that uh, for for eight years, mm -hmm. no, no, okay, no, no. For, for eight years, I we sat on no, the right or the conservative sat no, on the let's, side. Let's talk about okay. what's real. Okay, okay. Let, so right now you don't like okay, no, uh, President-elect Trump's selection. It's, I get that. I'm, a, I'm a saying. It's questionable, okay? Yeah. But that's okay. That's why they go okay. through the, the Congress okay. to be vetted. This one and his general doesn't have to be vetted by the Senate. That's the rules. He's I don't already make, been convicted. I don't, I don't make the rules. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. And his background, the fact that he's being paid by Turkey. The yeah. Fact that he sat down. You okay? I, don't think, I, I don't think that there's any evidence of that. Yes, yes it is. is. There are pictures. Honestly, Bro, yes. come on. I'm Bill, sorry. are you okay? What is the one general that had uh, Bill, dinner with, with uh, yes. who? No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, the general that had uh, dinner with Putin. There's a picture That's in That's the same guy I'm talking about. Yeah. God, what is his name? Guy. It's not Petraeus, it's the other guy. Okay. I can't keep the are general you, straight. Or, okay, but are you okay with that, though, Bill? One I'm of okay, our generals. I'm okay with, Putin. with the people electing President Trump and, and him picking his advisors or his team. But not Mitt Romney. Not Mitt Romney. No, I wouldn't pick Mitt I, Romney. I think he should have someone. Rudy Giuliani a, would be great. Uh, Rudy Giuliani. Guy, John Bolton. John Bolton. That guy's psychotic. Okay. John Bolton would psychotic. be good. Who? John Bolton. He was. Uh, you, Mr. You, Warmonger you, himself. No, he was fired, bro. <laughs> no, he wasn't fired. He, he, no, he was the fired. UN ambassador, John Bolton, was not fired. He was let go. No, he he was wasn't let go. Hit the road, that guy's a Jack. warmonger. Come on, Bill. Okay. You want another war to start? I want to respect your choices. I really do. Okay. But I think what's happening here, we're not getting the best of the best because you know what? He's not attracting the best of the best. But Jose, my, you're making my point. I'm telling you right now, I am just a small fraction of those folks out there that sat on the other side of the sidelines and we said to ourselves, not to you, we felt that President Obama and his team were not the right of the the right picks. We complained, we did our thing, but we didn't protest. We didn't hit people like you guys what? protest. Oh, do you see the guy who got thrown off the airplane? You yeah, guys protest build. commerce. You beat up people when they come. That they're driving. The, 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 the alt left, the alt left, the alt liberals, yeah. these millennials, liberals yeah. that are still crying about right. the, the the election, get over it because for the next four years. Well, I'm glad, and I hope you get take advantage of this. Whether whatever. I'm happy, man. I'm happy. Take advantage of whatever psychiatric help you can do. Okay, now, okay. Because that's going to be cut off. That's fine. Because he he wants to have every survival of the fittest. It, the survival have, of the fittest, sir. Listen, I, and, and that's the same. And, and what's this, with all the all, all the white men? No diversity, no nothing. What's we, up with we, that? we pick some women. We pick some Who? women. We got one. The, the education. We've got uh, oh, oh education. Don't even get me started on some billionaire who's never had anything to do with public school education and kids right. on free and reduced lunch. She grew up rich, and right. she's going to try to gut the public school education. Ben system. Carson has been I, named the HUD. I think uh, it's important he's that black. You have millionaires in charge. Ben, ben Carson's a black guy, so we're, you know we're kind of millionaires. Understand exactly what everybody else is. Going but you know to what the good thing about it? I, I, I want to thank you. You know.
them for your input. You guys have been wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I'm Jose Miranda. This has been a Spanish speaker. And there's no TV. alt left. There's no alt. <laughs> there's no alt right. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Tap rooms are localized and they're geographic. The Hispanic community is much broader than one tap room. So what we decided to do was come out with a high quality craft beer, two high quality craft beers that appeal to the Hispanic taste and that we can distribute in all the Hispanic neighborhoods. Taino is a very light, refreshing beer. It's a, it's a social beer that you can drink probably for a good part of the evening and it will give you a nice light feeling. It's not a heavy beer, it's very airy and it's very light. It's a 4.5 alcohol which is low for beer. The Boricua is a 6.0. Now that's a stronger beer and we designed it to be a little bit stronger than Heineken. Heineken is a favorite in the Hispanic community so we have a little bit more muscle than Heineken. Boricua, Boricua right now in a very short amount of time it's been a miracle for us because we've gotten a, a large range of acceptance at the retail level. We're in Publix, we're in ABC, Target is picking it up, we're in Sedano's, we're in Bravo's, 7-Elevens are picking it up because they're concentrating more on craft beer and the Hispanic market. So what we try to do is do a quality beer, a high quality beer, more taste, and that the Hispanic community will like. Mira, ¿dónde tú estás? Ya estoy aquí, mi vida. Ay. ¿Pero qué están tomando? ¿Pero por qué? Porque me traje lo nuevo y diferente. Taino Light Boricua Beer. Y lo más importante es que es lo nuevo y acabadita de salir al mercado. ¿Y saben bueno? Claro, ambas cervezas tienen los mismos beneficios que una copa de vino. Con menos calorías. La Boricua Beer, 6%. Fuerte, pero con sabor. Y la Taino Light, 4.5%. Y es artesanal. Es Somos familia. Calidad y sabor. Visita boricuabeer.com Hola Florida, introducing Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed chill. Boricua Beer is a craft ale with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers, enjoy responsibly. I am for the child who's had seven addresses in a single year because she's in foster care, because her father abused her. And her mother, her mother couldn't believe her. She is the child I am for. I am a volunteer child advocate. I am you. Florida residents call toll free 866-341-1425. Now. It is the kind of weekend where an ice cold beverage is probably the thing you want. A local businessman launching his own craft beer company and he's targeting Hispanic customers. He's at the Sentinel today to tell us more about this new beer, Caitlin. Yeah, so actually you took the words out of my mouth, Andrea. I was thinking whether uh, a nice weekend means maybe a nice cold brewski. And I actually have Kyle Arnold, who's our restaurant and retail reporter in-house. And Kyle, you know, craft beer is a trend, but it seems that we have a, one local brewer taking it to sort of the next step. And I let's talk about uh, Boricua craft beer and Taino beer, which is like sort of its lighter sister beer. So talk to me about those two products. Yeah, exactly. It was a beer that was launched here a couple months ago by a local company at Altamont Springs. Uh, Danny Ramos is running it. It's being uh, produced up in Cape Canaveral at Florida Beer Company. Uh, and it is a beer that is, you know, hoping the Boricua name means Puerto Rican. Uh, there's a huge population of Puerto Ricans here hoping that he can, uh, you know, create a connection between those people to uh, get his name out. Um, so uh, when I think of craft beer, you know, I think uh, it, it certainly targets a, a specific audience, but he's taking it a step further. Can you elaborate more on why target the Hispanic population? Yeah, there's uh, like 500,000 Hispanics in this area. Two hundred, sure. About half of those are Puerto Ricans. And a lot of Puerto Ricans and a lot of Hispanics are in that millennial age group, just like the rest of the country. And those people are kind of disregarding the, uh, the beers their parents grew up with. And they want local beers. They want things that cater a little bit more to their taste, a little bit higher quality, and they're willing to pay for it. Sure, and so where locally can we find this? Uh, there's a couple publics around town in some of the bigger Hispanic pop it, pockets of town. Mm -hmm. Sedano's, Bravo's, there's a bunch of 7-Elevens. You can find them almost at all the ABC uh, Wine and Spirits. They have a pretty big craft beer selection. Excellent. And so I know uh, it doesn't, this isn't the only uh, brewery or brewer looking to target this market. Who else is popping up na you know, nationally? Yeah, there's some companies out of like Southern California, like Ohana Brewing. Um, there's some other ones. What's really interesting about Boricua is I really haven't found many others 
that target Hispanics specifically. And you already see that done in the mass beer market with Corona, exactly. uh, Dos Equis things. Uh, you know, Mexico is a pretty big beer market. Um, but uh, in terms of Americans, they've really kept it general so far, either uh, localities like Orlando Brewing or, or Fat Tire, just mm -hmm. a generic term out of uh, Colorado. Excellent. And do you, I just want to know, what has the reception been? If it's only been launched for a few months, what are what's the kind of feedback you're getting on this? It's doing pretty well in some restaurants around town, um, especially some uh, like Puerto Rican restaurants that they really only offer, you know, some of the big international beers, uh, Heineken and things like that. They bring in a local beer. It says Craft Brew. Uh, it's got a local tie to it, and people want to try it, especially tourists from out of town. They want to, you know, see what the local flavor is, and, and so far it's it's been good. Excellent. So we have a local entrepreneur, a local, a local brewer here uh, targeting a very specific market uh, within a larger market, so we'll just have to see how Boricua goes from here, but, you know, if we're seeing all these temperatures, I myself might crack one this weekend. <laughs> I think you should, Caitlin. Cheers to that. What a terrific idea. Cheers. All right. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch Orlando News Now every weekday on OrlandoSentinel.com. We go live at noon. See you then. Hi, I'm Jose Miranda. Welcome back to um, Hispanic Speak on TV. Um, you know, of course, we talk uh, politics and all that kind of good stuff. We talk education, women's issues, uh, Planned Parenthood, and we're big on uh, sports and uh, things that affect our culture as well as everybody else's stuff. I'm being joined tonight uh, by the newly elected state representative, Mr. Cortez. How you doing, sir? Sir. How are we doing? And as for district, I'm sorry. 43. 43. That's the only count. And um, how's it feel, man? You deliberately, this the first time you might have, you could have gotten away with, well, I was just minding my business and I bumped into it and I got elected. Now you deliberately wanted to get elected and do something. So. Yeah, I got to gotta finish off what I didn't do the last two years okay. and get it done. Forgive me for that because people say, you know, the, your, your opponents are very enthusiastic, you know. They ran a very tough, strong race. Okay? How about a dirty campaign? And that's my point. It I wasn't want, a strong I want to say that people It was a lie. dirty campaign they ran against. Okay, me. they lie, they tear down signs, they, they do whatever it takes. Once you get my family involved, it's a dirty campaign. Okay. And, but why don't we say that that guy's a crook or that guy's just a liar? We, we, we dignify it with all these pretty words. And I want to tell you, folks, a lie is a lie. You know, so how do you feel about when somebody's done all that? Well, uh, and one of the persons, one of the persons that was running the dirty campaign, I don't know, they, they stated that they weren't, was arrested. So, what's that tell you? Oops. 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 And the other one, you even you don't even hear about. Yeah. So, well, that's how much they did when they were when they were in the office. You're gonna run up against the club, okay? club has been here for a very long time. We, the Democrats have not been able to make any inroads of that. Hopefully the most that you can hope for are moderate Republicans. How do you how do you go about trying to get something done? Well, I see with this new speaker that we have, he's he's uh he's gonna be heavy on the lobbyists. He's got some good rules out there that are pretty good mm -hmm. and he's gonna make sure that everything is correct, transparent. Tell me, I hope, tell I'm hoping that's what happens. Tell the audience a little bit what a lobbyist does. Is, is well, it that comes to give you put coins in your pocket? Well, a lobbyist tries to, well, he works for different corporations or companies, mm -hmm. and he tries to influence you to make a bill to help out that company. Okay. And some of the bills that they, they want you to do are really bad, and some of them are just corrupt. With money? And sometimes they buy, they buy uh, I don't know who they buy, but it's, it's alleged that they buy, okay. they buy legislators. I, I don't get bored. I don't care if you give me money for my campaign. I, I just, right. I'm not, I'm not going to do what you tell me. It's, okay. I'm going to do what the people want in the, in the area and the people of Florida, my constituents. I got to answer them. There was a, uh, a bill that uh, wanted liquor stores uh, in each Target and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was getting a lot of pressure from them. And I was getting more. In the Target store? They, don't, they wanted them. They wanted them. They wanted to bring liquor inside Walmart, Target, and all these major stores. Why? And a lot of folks didn't want it. Sure. Because there's 24 hour ac access to drug, to, uh, to alcohol. Right. So a lot of folks didn't want it. My constituent, I had the clergy, the police departments, everybody on me saying, "Hey, we don't want this." Okay. So I have to go with what the people say. Sure. I, I can't go with the companies. 
I'm the one who has to stay here. And, and I live in, I, I live there in my neighborhood. Right. I don't, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. And I have to, and I have to do what the people tell me. They hire me to do a job, and that's my job. This has been a unique election in that I believe that even though the R's have gotten it, I think people have gotten to a point where they believe um, a buyer's remorse already. Well, people how, were. How do we? How, how people do we were. Deal with the problem was that people were tired of the two-party system. Okay. All right. They they were sick of the. They they, they had two. Actually, you had two candidates that they, the people did not like. Let's be realistic. Okay. The people did not like. So, they try to get a point across, and the point across now is smacking them in the face. Right. Because look what they put in there. They put the orange man in there. And the orange man is a businessman. He's not for the constitu He's not for the not for the middle class or the all the all the poor people. He's for the one percent and his businesses. So you put a guy in there that's like that. What's going to happen? Everything's going to be privatized. As much as possible. Your Medicaid, your Social Security, all that stuff is. You, you see it already. Paul Ryan wants to uh, make vouchers and stuff like that. Yeah, and you know that doesn't. Anytime you have civilians. I say so. Well, look at the jails. The jails are jails. Oh, the jails are privatized, right. and, and, how, what's, what's and they're that? going back. A lot of them are switching back. And look at these jails. I, I, I go visit. I visited about three or four jails. Right. They, they haven't had a raise in thirteen years now. It'll be thirteen years they haven't had a raise. The officers and the state employees, and the state employees in the state haven't had a raise in about nine, ten years. But you're also when you're in a private, aren't you encouraging incarceration? Because that, that well, because you're, you're making money. You're making money. money. Right. You're making money off. There's nothing about rehab. It's about there's no rehab. Come back. Let me tell you, that's a rehab. That's a lot of because I worked at the jail fifteen years. Yeah. I retired from corrections. There's no rehabbing. They're just learning more how to do things when they get out. Yeah. They, they, inmates even taught me how to steal a car. They told me how easy it was to steal a car. I said, wow, that's that easy to steal a car? I said, yeah, that's how they do it. I said, wow, my God. Now I recognize when my car was moved. You know, no, well, you. but I'm just telling you how the, how the, yeah, yeah. the system is. Right. You're not helping anybody out. You're making them worse. What do we do for the Latin community? Because I think the Latin community has been confused in this election. Let me tell you. All the way around. I got to give the Latin community a lot of props because they came out and voted this time. Okay. Especially in Osceola County. I, I give you that, but they didn't vote where they should have been other Well, they, didn't, I, they did I not vote. I agree that the Latinos have won more seats now. But they didn't right. come out where they were supposed to come out. Right. And that's what happened. And that's the issue. And you have I'm the, glad it came out for you. I'm glad it came out for And the African-American uh, community, uh, a lot of them didn't come out either. No. Uh, so we got to blame both of them. Yeah. So the Anglos came out, and they voted. It's always been alleged or said or written that if the Anglos decided that they wanted to, to come out and vote, they don't need minorities to get things done. Well, they, they proved it in this and election. They proved it in this election. They proved it in this election. Okay. They came out and voted. And it also showed you that they were willing to make the sacrifices involved. They they wanted that guy in, and they got him in. That's the bottom line. Real quick, we have um, a minute left. Um, we had some controversial uh, winnings this this uh, this election, and uh, I. Personally, I think probably some of the right people won. Um, but how do we put that to bed now and, and move forward? Well, we got to move forward and see what he's going to do. And if he's not going to do the right thing, there's the impeachment process. Yeah. And in the impeachment process, the people, already, she's already got the, uh, uh, Clinton already has the, what, two million or three million in the yeah. popular vote? Yeah. And you can see it from there. And if there was a, there was a hack from Russia, then that's another story. Well, that's that's uh, that's, the, that's the alleged you know, allegations right yeah, now going around. Said, so. But we just got to deal with it, see what goes on, and then we have the impeachment process. My friend, you know you're always welcome, and I love having you. Well, thank you for inviting politics, me. Politics, you know, so yeah, please come back whenever you feel. And uh, I'm waiting for my invitation in the mail to come up and visit. Okay. Oh, you can come anytime. <laughs> I'm Jose Miranda. This has been Hispanic Speak on TV. We'll see you again next week, same time. Tap rooms are localized and they're geographic. The Hispanic community is much broader than one tap room. So what we decided to do was come out with a high quality craft beer, two high quality craft beers that appeal to the Hispanic taste and that we can distribute in all the Hispanic neighborhoods. Taino is a very light, refreshing beer. It's a, it's a social beer that you can drink probably for a good part of the evening and it'll give you a nice light feeling. It's not a heavy beer, it's very airy and it's very light, it's a 4.5 alcohol which is low for beer. The Boricua is a 6.0. Now that's a stronger beer, and we designed it to be a little bit stronger than Heineken. Heineken is a favorite in the Hispanic community, so we have a little bit more muscle than Heineken. Boricua, Boricua right now, in a very short amount of time, it's been a miracle for us because we've gotten a, a large range of acceptance at the retail level. We're in Publix, we're in ABC, 
Target is picking it up, we're in Sedanos, we're in Bravos, 7-Elevens are picking it up because they're concentrating more on craft beer and the Hispanic market. So what we're trying to do is do a quality beer, a high quality beer, more taste, and that the Hispanic community will like. Mira, ¿dónde tú estás? Ya estoy aquí, mi vida. Ay. ¿Pero qué están tomando? ¿Pero por qué? Porque me traje lo nuevo y diferente. Taino Light Boricua Beer. Y lo más importante es que es lo nuevo y acabadita de salir al mercado. ¿Y saben buenas? Claro, ambas cervezas tienen los mismos beneficios que una copa de vino. Con menos calorías. La Boricua Beer, 6%. Fuerte, pero con sabor. Y la Taino Light, 4.5%. Y es artesanal. Es Somos familia. Calidad y sabor. Visita boricuabeer.com Hola Florida, introducing Boricua Beer and Taino Light Beer. Boricua and Taino Light are crafted beers that are rich in flavors and brewed right here in Florida. Taino Beer has a crisp, refreshing Caribbean flavor style when enjoyed chilled. Boricua Beer is a craft L with full body flavor that is a beer drinker's beer. Boricua and Taino Light Beers, enjoy responsibly. I am for the child who's had seven addresses in a single year because she's in foster care, because her father abused her, and her mother, her mother couldn't believe her. She is the child I am for. I am a volunteer child advocate. I am you. Florida residents call toll-free 866-341-1425. Now. It is the kind of weekend where an ice cold beverage is probably the thing you want. A local businessman launching his own craft beer company and he's targeting Hispanic customers. He's at the Sentinel today to tell us more about this new beer, Caitlin. Yeah, so actually you took the words out of my mouth, Andrea. I was thinking whether uh, a nice weekend means maybe a nice cold brewski. And I actually have Kyle Arnold, who's our restaurant and retail reporter in-house. And Kyle, you know, craft beer is a trend, but it seems that we have a, one local brewer taking it to sort of the next step. And I let's talk about uh, Boricua craft beer and Taino beer, which is like sort of its lighter sister beer. So talk to me about those two products. Yeah, exactly. It was a beer that was launched here a couple months ago months ago by a local company at Altamont Springs. Uh, Danny Ramos is running it. It's being uh, produced up in Cape Canaveral at Florida Beer Company. Uh, and it is a beer that is, you know, hoping the Boricua name means Puerto Rican. Uh, there's a huge population of Puerto Ricans here hoping that he can, uh, you know, create a connection between those people to uh, get his name out. Um, so uh, when I think of craft beer, you know, I think uh, it, it certainly targets a, a specific audience, but he's taking it a step further. Can you elaborate more on why target the Hispanic population? Yeah, there's uh, like 500,000 Hispanics in this area. Two hundred, sure. About half of those are Puerto Ricans. And a lot of Puerto Ricans and a lot of Hispanics are in that millennial age group, just like the rest of the country. And those people are kind of disregarding the, uh, the beers their parents grew up with. And they want local beers. They want things that cater a little bit more to their taste, a little bit higher quality, and they're willing to pay for it. Sure. And so where locally can we find this? Uh, there's a couple publics around town in some of the bigger Hispanic pockets of town. Mm -hmm. Sedano's, Bravo's, there's a bunch of 7-Elevens. You can find them almost at all the ABC uh, Wine and Spirits. They have a pretty big craft beer selection. Excellent. And so I know uh, it doesn't, this isn't the only uh, brewery or brewer looking to target this market. Who else is popping up na you know, nationally? Yeah, there's some companies out of like Southern California, like Ohana Brewing. Um, there's some other ones. What's really interesting about Boricua is I really haven't found many others that target Hispanics specifically, and you already see that done in the mass beer market with Corona, exactly. uh, Dos Equis things, uh, you know, Mexico is a pretty big beer market, um, but uh, as in terms of Americans, they've really kept it general so far, either uh, localities like Orlando Brewing or, or Fat Tire, just mm -hmm. a generic term out of uh, Colorado. Excellent. And you, I just want to know, what has the reception been? If it's only been launched for a few months, what are what's the kind of feedback you're getting on this? It's doing pretty well in some restaurants around town. Um, um, especially some uh, like Puerto Rican restaurants that they really only offer, you know, some of the big international beers, uh, Heineken and things like that. They bring in a local beer. It says craft brew. Uh, it's got a local tie to it, and people want to try it. Especially tourists from out of town, they want to, you know, see what the local flavor is. And, and so far, it's it's been good. Excellent. So we have a local entrepreneur, a local a local brewer here, uh, targeting a very specific market uh, within a larger market. So we'll just.
just have to see how Boricua goes from here. But you know, if we're seeing all these temperatures, I myself might crack one this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should, Caitlin. Cheers to that. What a terrific idea. Cheers. All right. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch Orlando News Now every weekday on OrlandoSentinel.com. We go live at noon. See you then.